I was asked in a lecture once why my work is always so pessimistic, as though an artist's role is to entertain and remind people of beauty. People talk a lot about the magic of making paintings, but it really is just hard work. It's big, they're heavy, and this painting, this newest work in my studio, is one of the biggest. It's four huge panels across one big white wall. There's a lot of space to fill and a lot of ideas to try and come up with to fill that space. The year 2020 started for me in a shocking way. Massive bushfires coming from the south of our home and another equally massive fire bearing down on us from the north was sort of squashed in between, burning leaves falling on the roof. Then when COVID broke, uh, we realised that we, me and Kylie, my partner, really had to bed down and care for our children, for the anxiety that they felt. And I thought more then, uh, more broadly, about the sense of collective anxiety that the planet has been facing this mind-bendingly massive crises for some years now. And in a way, COVID brought it back down to a very personal level for us to feel our anxiety, to live with our anxiety. This painting, 2020, is as big as I've made. It's over eight metres wide, four huge panels on a wall. Started with a, a literal life sitting with a model uh, and the character of Santa Claus sitting teetering on the edge ignoring the fact that the world is falling apart around him. So when I started this work uh, it was really just about my own sense of the anxiety that I feel for my fellow humans, the, the, the anger I feel towards those that want to deny science, deny the certainty of the future that we face. And I thought I want to make something really, really big. Uh, so Darren is a, a model. He, he sat for this or lay for this. He, I, I moved along him to put this huge human figure on this painting, which is, is as much about me as it is about Darren, as it is about all of us. And the painting grew. I added a panel and then I added another panel and gradually it crept across the studio wall, almost like COVID sweeping through us. By putting esoteric, almost mythical like figures, a monster, the sense of something monstrous around uh, the very raw, simple white linen flesh of the figure, the human figure, but intermingling that with the really mundane objects of shoes. The, the painting actually has legs. It has a leg on either side. Um, the story is a massive one. It's overwhelming. Uh, it's frightening. And I think COVID in 2020, this year, is a, a, a precursor in a sense. It's a forewarning of the way we will feel only the anxiety that generations in front of us will face will be amplified a hundredfold as, as ecosystems break down and the planet falls apart. It's also said that the great works of art have been made from the, the largest adversity when communities and humans face war or face upheaval. And now in 2020, every human being on the face of the earth faces a pretty certainly bleak future at this point. And I'd like to think that 2020 and this painting is a portent, is a warning for the future about what we face if we continue to ignore our fate.